Best way of doing this. <coughs> to make the wheel more, concent more concentric across the rim because the rim is where the real flywheel action is taking place so the less balanced it is the more you know, the wheel is going to throw the entire lathe out as it swings around It's this part of the rim nice and concentric. Change my angle again. if I can put a bit, bit of a chamfer on it while I'm at it. I am super pressed by Oscar's cutting tools. Oscar Bide. Last name Bide, first name Oscar. I am really, really impressed. So that's got the back side of the faceplate tidied up nicely. May as well tidy up the front half of the rim as well. I'm not able to do the entire rim in one go because the carriage blocks past halfway. <laughs> bit of a what's the name on the edge there but not enough for me to care about cleaning this up might be fun but now that I've done that let's see if I can move to a higher speed okay. see 
the more balanced this is, the higher, the faster the lathe itself can go. One thing I don't like about carbide is how it seems to spray chips in all directions. Look at this mess. This is all mess from just now. Pull all the ways up. <coughs> Let's see, that's the edge of it now. My where can I catch the light? Nice and uniform. It's still a bit streaky because the the car this carbide is not a finishing tool as such. And there's still a bit of a rough spot, but there's not enough out of concentric to for me to worry about. <laughs> steel than it does on aluminium. Very, very impressed. Okay, I am super impressed after that. There's that little Oscar, Oscar Bide, Oscar, Oscar Bide um, turning tool set was very worth the money. I've turned this down to a thinner diameter in the, in the rod itself because after I get all this mounted on it I'm going to need to this is a 16 millimeter hole as you recall and we're going to have to bore it out to roughly 20 millimeters diameter so this has to be 15 to 16 millimeters so it'll actually fit in there to bore it out And the rest was partly for fun, I admit. I'm shallow. But yes, very happy with that.